Okay, our title is Urban Consolidation and our goal is to learn what urban consolidation is. Um, so by the end of the video, I want you to be able to explain what urban consolidation is and be able to explain the causes and effects of urban consolidation um, upon our case study, which is Sydney. So what is urban consolidation? Well, it's policies and programs designed to increase population densities in urban areas in order to make them more efficient use of existing infrastructure and to limit urban spend in surrounding rural areas. Um, construction of medium density to high density housing in inner and middle suburbia. Lots of key words there that I'm going to try and break down and explain um, this um, dynamic in a, a little bit more easier detail. So um, basically what we do, we get a, um, a house in, in the city that was probably generally built on a big block of land and instead of a uh, single story house, we knock it down and we build on it medium or high density houses. Now, when we're talking about policies and programs, we are talking about councils working with developers and they will change the uh, rules of, um, for how to build a house in terms of how high you can build a house so that we get this medium high density housing. Okay, so um, let's have a look at some examples. Um, these are the type of housing types that you would find. Um, we are talking about, you know, a move from detached houses to semi or um, terraced houses. You can see in these videos that we do have a mixture of semi-detached. The um, house at the bottom is a semi-detached house. It's two houses joined together, but on one side they're separate. That's what detached means. Um, the image on the top left, that is a form of terraced housing even though it's new built and on the right you can see that we've got again terraced housing but a little bit bigger and spread out um, this is what we're talking about medium um, density housing as well as um, flats that might be two or three stories going to high density which might be 15 to 20 um, this is a good example of what we're talking about um, in terms of high density houses. Um, this is the last remaining set of um, council flats in the rocks. Um, many years ago, it would have been maybe one house, but the space has been used and modified to get more people living in a smaller area. Um, we've got Lunar Park there. The apartments surrounding Lunar Park are all examples of urban consolidation. Again, uh, 50, 60 years ago, this would have been um, single story houses. Now it's been turned into apartments, high density to medium density housing. Um, so, as it happened in Sydney, well, you can see there we've had a um, maybe three or four detached or set terraces knocked down, replaced with townhouses, villas, or um, duplexes, as well as flats. They, this often happens in uh, sought after areas where land's expensive, so the demand's there. Um, and what people try and do is probably make more profits out of their um, block of land by building as many houses on as possible. Um, so, so as you can see there, to be infected, urban consolidation depends on balancing demands and supply. What you don't want is to um, push up um, supply too much because that will decrease demand and push prices down. Urban consolidation has affected household types. Um, so traditionally, people have lived in big houses with a big block of land. That's changing because we're seeing an ageing population. So those people who live to an older age will then want to downsize and go into a smaller house. Um, family unit has also changed. No longer are we having you know, three or five children in the family. Um, we're having more people who live on their own who don't get married. We're having people who um, are or couples who don't have children, which has meant that people want urban um, consolidation because they want these small houses. Um, also, people want smaller houses where they don't want a big block of land. Um, they'll have more rooms in the house, like um, a kid's playroom, um, and as a result, the blocks of land have decreased. Urban uh, consolidation has helped those type of people. And then we've had a lot more immigration, particularly from an Asian population, and because of housing density, in Asia, and um, they're used to living in high density houses, which again has helped urban consolidation places like Sydney become successful. Um, and then um, people want 
to be able to live in inner cities. They don't really want to keep moving out to the suburbs. Um, have people been opposed to um, urban consolidation? Of course they have, because you have these old inner city houses, lot like we stayed in in the rocks, being knocked down when we're having bigger um, tower blocks. Um, it changes the character of the neighbourhood. It increases traffic because you've got bigger population living in small areas. And then you have a loss of privacy. If you've got a single story house and then next door used to be a house is now a tower block, people are going to look in your garden. People don't like it. Okay, that's urban consolidation.